Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the last Genki 2 live stream. This is lesson 23. After this one, we just have the practice live stream, and we are done with Genki. So, if you're if you've been following along with us, and you are also on lesson 23, congratulations. We're about to be done with it. So today we're going to be covering the causative passive, causative passive sentences. That's going to be a fun one. Uh, even if with temo is much easier, decide to do with koto ni suru. New habits with koto ni shite iru. Until with made and how to with kata. Before we get into that, you know I always have to do this. I just want to mention that if you'd like to help support the Tokini Andy channel and you'd like some extra content to help you on your journey, please consider checking out the Tokini Andy Patreon where Yuki and I make textbook practice videos, vocabulary videos, listening and shadowing videos, tests, and lots more that can hopefully help you with your journey through Genki. We're also going to be starting on Quartet very soon. And we'll have lots of content for Quartet there as well, as well as new content coming out while we're doing intermediate content for Genki. So, we also have a merch store, there's memberships and stuff down below the chat, and even if you can't help support financially, just click on the like button, learn it as much as you can, and hanging out is a great way to support. Please share this video with anyone you know who might be studying Japanese and you think might find it helpful. Other than that, I really appreciate you guys and all you've, uh, that you've been with me through this whole journey. It's been a long, long year. Quick announcements before I jump into chat. Um, after this live stream, tomorrow, tomorrow during the day, I'm going to do the stream cut as fast as I can, and I'm going to release that on Patreon, and then I'm going to disappear for at least five days. Just disappear. I'm going to be off the map. I won't be on Discord, probably. I won't be on YouTube answering any comments. I won't be anywhere. I'm going to be gone for about five days. We will be back next Sunday for the practice live stream. Yuki and I are going to take a few days off to rest. I may end up taking more than five days. I was planning on starting the tests the following week, like next week, start making the Genki 2 tests, but I may wait a little bit longer because there's a lot of people that want to catch up, and I've sort of reached my stress level limits, I feel like, so I may need to take a little bit more time, but we'll see how we feel after five days off. So that's just the announcement. We're planning to start Quartet 2 from May 2nd, but we'll see what happens. So, let's uh, jump into the causative-passive. Causative-passive sentences. They're not as bad as you think, I don't think. Although, to be fair, when Yuki was helping me with the textbook practice exercises, she was having difficulty with them. Just because it's not something that is used super frequently, at least in conversation. You will see it in books and stuff, and you may use it from time to time. I, there's a few times in particular, which I'll go over in a little bit, that I have used it. You'll see why. So, before we get into the causative passive, we have to go over the Godang Conjugation Crash Course for about the 53rd time. So, verbs that end in utsu, mu, bu, nu, ku, gu, su, and sometimes a du are referred to as godan verbs in Japanese. Now, verbs that end in the sound, idu or edu, are usually something called ichidan verbs, which means they're conjugated a little bit differently, though there are exceptions to that. Jump back to lesson three if you want to find out about them. So, godan verbs, the godan, the name godan, so five steps, refers to the five different hiragana sounds, the vowel sounds in hiragana, a, i, u, e, o, with u, u endings of verbs being the dictionary forms of verbs. So, if you move up and down this hiragana chart, with the endings of the verb, so you change the dictionary ending here, ku, to, for example, in aruku, to walk, to ki, so aruki, and then add an ending, like a different ending, you get one of the conjugations in Japanese. So that's what godan conjugation is. You just move up and down this chart, add an ending, sometimes you don't, and uh, you get the conjugation. So it's actually quite simple. So, for the causative passive, you'd kind of expect that what you would do is take the causative conjugation, which we learned last week, so for aruku, that would be arukaseru, and then you just drop the du and add the passive ending, which we learned in lesson 21, which would make it arukasedareru. Now, that's actually fine. Grammatically, it's correct. That's okay. You can do that. So if you know how to make the causative and the passive, you just make the causative, drop the do and add the passive ending, and then you have it. But it's much more common, and Genki points this out, at least, yeah, it's much more common for all go down verbs except for those that end in su. Let's make it as complicated as we can, right? To go to the a column and then just add saseru. So we come here, we go to the a column, aruka, 
and then we add saseru. So aru ka sareru, not saseru, sareru. Sorry, I might have messed that one up a few times. Aruku, aruka, aruka sareru. I'll go over what we use the causative passive form for in a little bit. So I'm just going to go over the conjugations quick first. So for ichidan verbs, so that's ones that end in the sound iru or eru, you just drop the du and add sasedareru. Now, you may notice that this is actually exactly the causative plus the passive. There's nothing special about this. You're just taking the causative of an ichidan verb. For example, taberu becomes tabe saseru, and then you drop the du and add the passive, rareru. That makes it a little bit simpler. And so for miru, miru, you drop the du and add sase rareru. So you can think of it either way. You can think of conjugating the causative and then adding the passive ending, or you can just think of it as dropping the du and adding sase rareru. I feel like that's a little bit easier for me, but it's the same. So whichever you find easier. For verbs that end in su, it's the same thing. You can think of it two ways. Drop the su and add sase rareru, or it's the causative plus passive. So for the causative, you can move up to the a column and add se du. So hana sa se du. And then the passive is rareru. So you drop the du and add rareru. Hana sa se rareru. For verbs that end in su. You got all that? Perfect. I'm sure it's perfect. So for irregular verbs, suru is sase rareru and kuru is kosase rareru. The, the nice thing is you're probably not going to need to use this too frequently. You may see it though, so understanding it when you see it will be helpful. But you're not going to have to use it that frequently. I'll give you some examples, of course, as I always do, of when you might. Um, so for the causative passive, what it is is basically someone forces someone else, often yourself, to do something. And this is just force. There's no like allowing to like it was with the causative. This is always being made to do something, usually something that you didn't want to do. So we've got what Genki likes to call the puppet is marked by wa. Then the puppet master, the person making the other person do something, is marked by the ni particle. And then we have the act, whatever that may be. So some examples. And this is the one that I've probably, this is probably one of the only ones I've used regularly because this is something that happens in Japan a lot. When I go to festivals, um, the old guys there, they make you drink a lot. As soon as your cup is half empty, they're over there with a beer wanting to fill it up for you. So they make you drink a lot when you go to festivals and it will happen to you unless you don't drink alcohol. Like they will, if you don't drink at all, they'll be nice about it. But if you do drink, you're in for a, a long, long night. So they make you drink when you go to the festivals. That's when I've used this sentence right here. Osake wo nomasareta. Now you'll notice here that I have neither a puppet or a puppet master. In that situation, you can understand the, uh, the quote puppet to be the speaker. And uh, through context, you probably know who the puppet master is. So osake wo nomasareta. I was made to drink alcohol. Our next sentence is hayaku nesase I was made to go to bed early. Perhaps a child might say this in relation to their mother, although I don't think they'd use the polite form like this. Kono party ni kosase raremashita. I was made to come to this party. So the person obviously didn't want to come to the party, but they were made to come there against their will. Some more complicated sentences. We've got omatsuri ni iku to itsumo. Ojisan tachi ni osake wo, excuse me, nomasarete shimaimasu. As with the causative, um, you're gonna have te shimao, uh, no, chao and jao, used quite frequently, I feel like, with this form because it just makes it more dramatic and it's more complete. Like, I was made to drink completely. I drank too much, basically, by the old guy. So, omatsuri ni iku to, to when I go to a festival, いつもおじさんたちにお酒を飲まされてしまいます。I am always made to drink alcohol by the old guys. I never really complained about it, but, well, sometimes I did. So that's a more complicated version of that sentence with te shimao included. That's how you can combine those. So, 子供の時お母さんに早く寝させられた. So here we have um, myself, the speaker, is would be marked by wa if they were in the sentence. And then the, uh, the quote, puppet master is mother. So, When I was a child, I was made to sleep early by my mother. Yada! Soko ni ittara tomodachi ni minna to hanasase rare chaon da yo. This is a bit of a complicated sentence. Sentence. So, someone's trying to make me go over to 
talk to some people maybe or to some other location, maybe at a party. So I say, yada, no way, I don't want to do that. So if I were to go over there, tomodachi ni minna to hanasaserare chaun da yo. My friend will completely make me talk to everyone. So I don't want to talk to everyone, but they'll make me. Hanasaserare chao da yo. Uh, the chao, of course, is optional, but it makes it a little bit more emphatic, emotional. Uh, shimao makes things a little bit more, yeah, emotional. So you'll hear it a lot in these kind of conversations. Tomodachi ni, so they're the puppet master. Minna to hanasaserare chao da yo. I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions, but that brings us to the dialogue, so I'll get to those in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and go through. We've got Andy and Yuki. So, our final story in the dialogue, guys. Here we go. I'll read it slowly once, then at full speed, and then we'll get to question time. Kongaki wa mou owatte shimau ne. Sou da ne. Uchiage ni iku? Ikitai kedo. Itsu mo ando san ni. のませれちゃう。安藤さんはいろいろさせちゃうタイプだね。まずい漬物を食べさせられるし、一緒にお酒を飲むと次の日はやばいから行かないことにしようかな。うん。トスピー。今学期はもう終わってしまうね。そうだね。打ち上げに行く行きたいけど、いつも安藤さんに飲まされちゃう。安藤さんはいろいろさせちゃうタイプだね。まずい漬物を食べさせられるし、一緒にお酒を飲むと次の日はやばいから、行かないこと
So if you don't know how to make the Tay form yet, which is possible because I know some of you here are just getting started but wanted to jump into the live stream, which I do appreciate. But to make the Tay form, you're going to have to jump back to lesson six. When I talk about the song in lesson six, just so you know, I actually made a video of my own version of that song. And I'd love if you took a look at it. So, te form plus mo katte mo tsukawanai. Even if I buy it, I won't use it. Nete mo nemure nai. Okay, this is a weird sentence, but it means even if I go to bed, I can't fall asleep. Nemuru is often used to mean fall asleep, whereas neru, it can mean that, but it's often used to just mean lay down or to go to bed. It doesn't necessarily mean you fell asleep. So if you want to be specific about that, you can say something like nemure nakatta. Nete mo nemure nakatta, or nemure nai. Even if I go to bed, I can't fall asleep. <gasps> that would be a terrible thing to happen, although it's happened to me many times. Oishikute mo. So here's an E adjective. Oishikute mo. Tabetaku nai. Even if it's delicious, I don't want to eat it. Oishikute mo. Tabetaku nai. Tomodachi demo. Hanashite kure nai. Even if friends won't talk to me. So this is this is a little weird of us. This is a sentence a little weird. It's not quite even if. Even friends won't talk to me is what this sort of sounds better as in English. But tomodachi demo hanashite kure nai. So even my friends won't talk to me. So you can also use the te form with negative versions of all of those things. So for negative verbs, you just take the negative stem. So that means you cut the e off of the short form. So for example, tabe nai, you cut the e off and then you add kutemo. So negatives, informal negative verbs are treated like e adjectives when it comes to conjugating them. So you basically just cut off the e and add kutemo. For e adjectives, you cut the e of the negative version and add kutemo. For non-adjectives, you add kutemo to, to janai, so janakutemo, for nouns janakutemo, okay? Tabenai, you cut that, that e off, so you get the stem, and you get tabenakutemo e yo. It's okay if you don't eat it. So, I wanted to have one last little rant about Genki here. Just one last little one. So, you may recognize this sentence. Tabenakutemo e yo. Or tabete mo yo. That would be because you saw this this form in lesson six. So Genki taught you how to say things like tabenakute mo yo in lesson six, and they taught you how to use temo in lesson twenty-three. Moment of silence for that. That happens a lot in Genki. They teach you how to use things and then teach you how to make them later. But whatever. That was the old and with the new. We're done with Genki tonight. It's exciting. All right, so the next sentence is Omoshiroku nakutemo. That's a mouthful. Mitai. Even if it's not interesting, I want to see. So maybe a terrible movie or something. Omoshiroku nakutemo. Mitai. We've got a na adjective here. We've got Genki janakutemo. Gambatte. Even if you're not feeling energetic, do your best. Or, I guess this could be the textbook. Genki janakute mo ganbatte. Even if it's not the Genki textbook that you're studying, do your best. All right, so more complicated sentences with both positive and negatives. So we've got saikin donna ni nete mo nemui. Recently, saikin, no matter how much, donna ni, no matter how much, I sleep, I feel sleepy. So, Donna ni netemo or itsu itemo, like in our next sentence, if we have a what in English are wh words like who or what or where before temo, what it means is no matter how much or no matter who, things like that. So it it adds more emphasis. No matter who tells me this, or no matter when I sleep, or no matter how much I sleep in this situation, donna ni netemo, no matter how much I sleep, I feel sleepy. Nemui. Next sentence is the same type of thing, it's itsu ittemo, no matter when I go. Itsu ittemo, onsen ga kimochi yokute, daisuki da na. Onsens feel great, and I love them, man. No matter when I go, onsens feel great, and I love them, man. Itsu ittemo. 
So I got to use the tambo form along with the the e adjective te form, which allows you to connect it with and. So that's that basically means and. Daisuki da na. Our next sentence is very long, so hang in there. Let's see if we can follow along. So, daigakusei no toki. When I was in college, nemukute mo. Even if I was sleepy, amari nenakatta. I didn't sleep much. Soshite also. Nenakute mo. Even if I didn't sleep, gameu wo eien ni tsuzuke rareta. I could keep playing games forever. So let's read that full speed. Daigakusei no toki nemukute mo. あんまり寝なかった。そして寝なくてもゲームを永遠に続けられた。so when I was in college, even if I was sleepy, I didn't sleep much. Also, even if I didn't sleep, I could play games forever. Or I could keep playing games forever. Suzukerareta is I could keep playing. Or could keep doing. So let's jump into the dialogue. I'll read it slowly once at a full speed, then we'll get to question time. みんなが断っても Ando-san-wa-jodan-da-to-omotte-iru. So-da-ne-boku-wa-ikanakutemo-ii-kana. Demo-saigo-no-nomikai-dashi. Ittara-tanoshii-deshou. So-ne-osake-wo-nomanai-koto-ni-sureba. いいかもしれない。安藤さんに言われても断りなさいよ。フォースピード。みんなが断ってもそうだね。僕は行かなくてもいいかな。でも最後の飲み会だし、行ったら楽しいでしょう。そうね。お酒を飲まないことにすればい
something something. What is something you wouldn't do no matter what happened? Let's move on to decide to do with koto ni suru. Koto ni suru. It's easy, making it. To say that you are going to decide to do something or that you will decide to do something, you just take a verb in its short present tense and add koto ni suru. And you can conjugate that suru into any way you want, but it means decide to, or if it's in the past tense, it means decided to, or something like that. We'll get into what things like the te iru form means later. So some examples are, not examples, th this first sentence is going to sort of illustrate what the, the structure of koto ni suru does. So let's take a look at the sentence. Pankeiki ni suru. So Genki does not teach this construction as far as I remember. But I've used it quite a bit in my lessons, and because it's very, very common, and you should know it. And it basically means something, something, ni suru. So a noun, ni suru, means you've decided on that thing. So for example, pancake ni suru means I decide on pancakes. If you're at a restaurant or something, it means I've decided to get pancakes, or yeah. If you went to a restaurant and someone said, what did you eat? You could say, pancake ni shita. I decided on pancakes. Uh, obviously, you could say eat if you wanted to, but it's very common actually to say ni suru, to say you decided on that thing. Now, koto ni suru, what it does, if you remember, koto turns everything that comes before it, or at least a part of what comes before it, into a noun. So it's exactly the same thing. Because everything before this koto, including the koto, is now a noun, and you've decided on that. So it's exactly the same as this structure. Pancake ni suru. I decided to get, I decide to get pancakes. Mainichi benkyo suru koto ni shimashita. I decided that I will study every day. So I will study every day. Mainichi benkyo suru is now a noun, or can be treated like a noun because we have koto after it. And then we just add ni suru, and you've got decided to. Next sentence is pancake wo tabenai koto ni shita hoga ii kamo. So there's a nice complicated sentence for you. I should probably decide not to eat pancakes or to not eat pancakes. Pancake wo tabenai koto ni shita janakute shita hoga mm? ah, tabenai koto ni shita hoga ii kamo shirenai. So combined a few different grammar points there. But even if we cut it off at the shita and didn't have hoga ii kamo. A kamo is the shortened version of kamo shirenai, which means probably. Uh, pancake, or maybe. Pancake wo tabenai koto ni shita would mean I decided not to eat pancakes. But hoga ii kamo means probably should. Some more complicated sentences than that. We've got ashita. Umi ni iku koto ni shiyou. Now, this is slightly different. Genki mentions that sentence like this, tomorrow let's go to the sea, um, you could just use the plain old volitional. So the volitional would be ashita umi ni iko. But Genki says now, Genki says, I've, I've never thought of it this way, but it is actually quite common to, uh, to sort of frame a invitation or a let's do like this, um, that this indicates that the invitation or the decision to go do something is uh, being expressed after some thinking about it. So I've been thinking, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do tomorrow? Asta umi ni iku koto ni shiyou. So after thinking about it for a while, I made a decision, like, let's make this decision. So it adds that kind of emphasis of, I've been thinking about this and let's do this. Whereas umi ni iku does not necessarily imply that you've been thinking about it. It might just be random, like, ne umi ni iku, randomly. Ramen ni ikouze, for example, ne? that's a uh, nendo kun from Psyche K. Ramen ni ikouze, that's just straight volitional. He obviously wasn't thinking about it for very long. It's just that's what you do when you have nothing else to do for nendo kun in Psyche K. Nendo kun would never say something like iku koto ni shiou because he doesn't deliberate about anything. He's not that type of person, right? But a person who thinks a lot about their decisions might say something like iku koto ni shiou, okay? Next sentence is quite long, three lines. So, Boku no Nihongo no goiryoku ga tarinai no de. Ichigatsu kara mainichi hon wo yondari. 
単語を覚えたりすることにしました。This is me, this is my sense. So, 僕の日本語の語彙力が足りないので、So, the first part is the extent of my Japanese vocabulary is lacking. That's what this sentence means. 足りない means is lacking. Uh, 語彙力 is、um, the extent of one's vocabulary. That's what that word means, and of course, Japanese. So, 僕の日本語の語彙力が足りないので、No de is so.、Uh, 1月から from January. 毎日本も読んだり単語を覚えたり So I every day reading books and doing, doing stuff like reading books and learning words or memorizing words. ことにしました So I decided to read books, learn new words, and more. So this ことにしました is modifying. This、uh, 毎日本も読んだり So we can put that in sort of parentheses from 毎日1月から毎日本も読んだり単語を覚えたりすることにしました Obviously, this ことにしました does not apply to what comes before the ので because that wouldn't make sense. Okay, next sentence is 最近具合が悪いから運動することにしなきゃ So, 最近、語合が悪い。Recently, I felt bad. So, から、運動することにしなきゃ。I need to decide to exercise. 運動することにしなきゃ。I need to decide to exercise. But I guess I haven't yet. That's not me. All right, Ando san showed up on the scene. Let's go through the dialogue. I'll read it slowly once at a full speed, go over the English translation, and then we'll get to question time. Here we go. Andy は今日お酒を飲まないことにしたと。言ってたよマジそれはいけない。え健康的だしいいんじゃない最後の飲み会だしいけないよ。やめておきなさいよ。断られたら飲ま,飲ませるのはいけないよ。いや、飲ませることにしよう。Full speed. アンディは今日お酒を飲まないことにしたと言ってたよ。マジそれはいけない。え、健康的だし、いいんじゃない最後の飲み会だし、いけないよ。やめておきなさいよ。断ら,断られたら、飲ませるのはいけないよ。いや、飲ませることにしよう。Let's go with the English translation. Andy は今日お酒を飲まないことにしたと言ってたよ。So, Andy said, 言ってたよ。Uh, 今日はお酒を飲まないことにした。Andy said he decided not to drink alcohol today. So, that ことにした is, is、um, applied to what Andy said. 今日はお酒を飲まないことにした。He decided to. マジ Seriously? それはいけない。That's not okay. It's healthy and stuff, so isn't that fine?、Uh, I debated on this sentence for a while. You can I both, actually. Because Genki doesn't really cover the usage of the,、um, the negative this way. Just like in English, isn't that fine?、Uh, in janai. So this doesn't mean it's not good, because for starters, not good is yokunai. Um, but using janai to mean isn't it、um, is very, very, very common in Japanese. So I'm actually surprised. Maybe they mentioned it somewhere in Genki, but I don't, I don't remember covering it.、Uh, so I figured I'd mention it here. You can use janai or the negative of many different things to mean isn't it? So, in janai, isn't it fine? It's fine, isn't it? Just so you know. Saigo no nomikai dashi, ikenai yo. It's the final drinking party and. It's not okay.、Uh, this she is implying actually that there's other reasons. So it's the, it's the final drinking party and stuff. So it's not okay. Yamete oki na sai yo. You should stop while you're ahead. So this is、uh, the te oku. Te oku, which means to do something for a purpose. Te oku, right?、Um, <laughs> and this is a command. So stop while you're ahead is how I would translate this. Yamete oki na sai yo. Koto wa rare ta ra. It's a mouthful. No ませるのは If someone turns you down, ことわられたら So passive.、Uh, passive plus たら 
No maseru no wa. Making them drink, so there's the causative. No wa. Ikenai yo. That's not okay. Woo. Ya, no maseru koto ni shi yo. Nah, I've decided to make him drink. No maseru koto ni shi yo. Can't tell you how many times that's happened to me. Suggest an activity to myself or your imaginary friend that you've been considering. So, ashita umi ni iku koto ni shi yo. Tomorrow, let's go to the sea. So, suggest an activity to myself or anyone you'd like that you've been considering. The next section is decide your habits with koto ni shite iru. So you may notice that this is basically just the te iru form. Not basically, it is the te iru form of the section we just covered, which was koto ni suru. It was actually part of the exact same section in the second edition of Genki 2, but they split it out into a separate section in Genki third edition uh, of Genki 2 because it has a different nuance that is they felt like justified a whole new section. I'm not sure that it did. I feel like it could have been a footnote. Doesn't matter. I made it into another section. I had, gave me an excuse for another dialogue. But I only have a few example sentences for this one because it's not that complicated. It's just the teiru form of koto ni suru. The difference between koto ni suru and koto ni shiteiru is that koto ni shiteiru is something like make it, I make it a point to do this thing. So like I decided on this regular thing I do or I decided to make this thing a habit. The most common translation I've seen for it is what you'll see in the example sentence is I make it a point or I make it a rule to do something something. So I only have three example sentences for this section because it's not that different from the last section, but they are. Mainichi undo suru koto ni shite imasu. And this means I make it a point to exercise every day. All the same rules apply as the last section. It's just with, it has a nuance of I do it every day or um, it's a habit. Or I make it a point to do this thing. So, osake o nomanai koto ni shite iru. I make it a rule not to drink or I, um, I am not currently, I'm in the habit recently of not drinking alcohol. Asa gohan de natto wo taberu koto ni shite imasu. I make it a rule or I'm in the habit of eating natto for breakfast. And that's it. That's what this means. It's just, it's the same thing as before, but it adds that new nuance to the sentence. So that's bringing us already to the dialogue. So Ando-san says, Hai! Tequila da! Yai yai ya! Nomanai koto ni shite iru n da yo! E? Osake yameta? Um. Futsuka yoi ga ya da kara. Sou ka. いっぱいだけなら二日酔いにならないよ。まあそうだね。フォースピード。はい、テキーラだ。いやいやいやいや。飲まないことにしているんだよ。え、お酒やめた？うん、二日酔いが嫌だからそうか。いっぱいだけな
I think it's a particle technically, but I can't remember exactly, so don't don't take my word for that. But what Genki covers here, this made, is using it with verbs in the short present positive. Made. So for example, owaru made until I finish. Or kuru made until it comes. Or oshiete morao made until I get them to teach me. So that's that's what Genki's teaching today. And that's what I'm teaching today. But I just want to complain a little bit. Made is used in a lot of different ways in a lot of very basic grammar. And I don't think we covered it in 23 lessons. Like we never did kara made. I don't know how we missed that point. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss it in the book. I just don't think it existed somehow. There's also lots of other ways to use made. Very important grammar that's in the, um, that's all combined into a single section in the grammar dictionary. But for some reason, this is the first time I feel like it showed up in a actual lesson in Genki, which makes no sense to me because things like kara made are like bare basics, like bare bones, important Japanese. Maybe there was a small like bonus section in one of the lessons back in Genki 1 that I, I missed. I don't know. Should have been covered. So while I was making this section, I was thinking about it. And there's a good chance just because of junk like this um, that I'll probably take the first few quartet live streams and do the, in the back of the quartet textbook, there's actually a sort of a brush up section, which tries to get you up to speed with what you might have missed in Genki or what it covers some of the more important grammar sections from Genki. So I might, I, I'm probably going to go in there and try and take out all the points that Genki missed. And I'm going to try and go over them maybe in a lesson separately or a couple lessons separately before we start start quartet because it's hard to justify going into intermediate content without some of this grammar. So that's just something I wanted to mention really quickly. There's our example sentences. Let's go into the next part, which is, uh, it's not the next part, it's just more complicated sentences. So, shukudai ga owaru made. So, gameu wo gaman shimasu. So I will resist playing games. Game wo gaman shimasu until I finish my homework. So you notice the the it's reversed. But shukudai ga owaru made until I finish my homework. Game wo gaman shimasu. I will resist playing games. You could also put it in that order if you'd like. More complicated stuff here. This isn't more complicated. It's not that bad. Okaasan ga mukai ni kuru made until my mother comes to get me. Eki de machimasu. Eki de machimasu. I will wait at the station until my mother comes to get me. Okaasan ga mukai ni kuru made. Eki de machimasu. Next sentence. Kono shigoto ni nareru made. Until I get used to. Nareru means to get used to something. So, kono shigoto ni nareru made. Until I get used to this word. Jikan ga kakarimashita. So, um, this is something I wanted to mention here. The verb before made needs to be in the present positive, but the verb after doesn't. The verb after will determine the whole tense of the clause, the politeness and everything, just like a lot of other things like kara and node. Although you can use mas forms before node and kara, usually you don't. In this situation you never do, it's always the short form, and what comes after it can be past tense, it can be negative, whatever. In this situation, it took a while until I got used to this work. So, kono shigoto ni nareru made jikan ga kakarimashita. It took a while until I got used to this work. That's pretty much it. Dialogue. Kuni ni kairu made nani suru yote? So da na, kyoto de jinja wo takusan mitai kana? Ii ne. Shigoto hajimaru made, watashi mo ryoko shitai na. Ja, issho ni kyoto ni iku? Ii ne. Itsu i, nijika iko ze, karaoke ni shi yo. Are? Full speed. 国に帰るまで何するよって?そうだな。京都でジンジャーをたくさん見たいかな?いいね。仕事を始まるまで私も旅行したいな。
じゃあ一緒に京都に行くいいねいつ二次会に行こうぜ There's no need. 二次会行こうぜカラオケにしようあれ English 国に帰るまで Until you go back to your country or before you go back to your country 何する予定 So we dropped a bunch of particles here but it's, it's in an informal conversation between they and Yuki So 何する予定 or 何をする予定ですか would be the full sentence What do you plan to do Until you go back to your country. So, だな。京都で神社をたくさん見たいかな。Yeah, so, だな。I want to see lots of shrines in Kyoto, maybe. I guess. いいね。Nice. 仕事を始まるまで。Until I start work. 私も旅行したいな。I want to travel. Too. I want to travel until I start work, too, is the. The reorganized sentence. じゃあ、一緒に京都に行く Well then, wanna go to Tokyo together? あ、あ、した、Tokyo。京都。<笑>一緒に京都に行く Wanna go to 京都 together? いいね。It's it. That sounds good. When will you go? 二次会行こうぜ Let's go to the after party. 二次会 is the after party or second party. There's also, yeah, there's, it's the after party. There's always an after party. カラオケにしよう。Let's do karaoke! So there's our にしよう without ことね。Just with a thing, a noun. あれ、huh? Question time. To scroll, the scroll. Describe a goal or habit you have which you won't stop doing until what? So for example, for me, maybe N1 を合格するまで日本語の勉強をやめない。I won't quit studying Japanese until I pass N1. N1 を合格するまで。合格するまで。日本語の勉強をやめない。So, what's something? Describe your goal or habit you have which you won't stop doing until what? Final section of Genki 3. You ready? Methods with kata. How to do something. Particularly, a verb, how to do that thing, is described with the mas stem of a verb and kata. So we just take the mas stem and kata, and that means how to do that verb or whatever that thing is. So, for example, tabe kata, the way to eat or how to eat something. Iki kata, the way to go or how to go somewhere. Kai kata, The way to buy it or something. Kai kata. So, some more complicated versions. Tsukuri kata wo oshiete kudasai. Please teach me the way to make it or please teach me how to make it. Sumaho no tsukai kata ga wakaranai. I don't understand how to use a smartphone. Sumaho no tsukai kata ga wakaranai. Tsukai kata. How to use. この漢字の読み方を知っている Do you know how to read this kanji? この漢字の読み方 How to read this kanji? 数学の勉強の仕方を知りたい I want to know how to study math. 数学の勉強の Shikata. One thing to mention here is that when we're talking about suru verbs, you need to have no in between the noun portion and the suru portion. So, benkyo shikata janakute, benkyo no shikata is how you want to make it. So, for example, sentaku、um, suru, so to do laundry, is not sentaku shikata, it's sentaku no. Shikata. So, you need to put the no particle between、uh, the noun portion and the sudo portion of sudo verbs. Just so you know. So, that's what that sentence is for. Sugaku no benkyo no shikata wo shiritai. I want to know how to study math. I do. Dialogue. And one and the. Are? Koko wa doko? Kyoto da yo. なんで京都に昨日、レイとユキが京都に行く話をしてたから、俺たちは早速行こうってことにした
ちなみに、ジンジャーの参り方、知っているえっ、ー、と、そういうビデオを作ったことあるフォースピン。あれここは、どこ京都だよ。な、なんで京都に昨日、レイとユキが京都に行く話をしてたから、俺たちは早速行こうってことにしたえちなみに神社の参り方知っているえー、っとそういうビデオを作ったことあるイングリッシュ・ランスレーションあれここはどこ、huh? Where is here? Where is here? 京都だよ。It's 京都な,なんで京都に、What? Why are we in 京都昨日、レイとユキが京都に行く話をしてたから、Yesterday, レイとユキ were talking about going to Kyoto, so, 俺たちは早速行こうってことにした。We decided, let's go now! Huh? ちなみに、神社の参り方知っている By the way, do you know how to pray or wish at shrines? 神社の参り方えー、とそういうビデオを作ったことある。Um, I made that kind of video once. I did. One of my first videos ever was how to pray at a Japanese Shinto shrine. Hey guys, welcome to Tokini Andy. I'm Andy. Today I'm going to teach you how to pray at a Japanese Shinto shrine. Did quite well for one of my first videos too. So, Ask to be taught something using kata. Oyogi kata wo oshiete kudasai. Please teach me how to swim. Ask to be taught something. You don't have to be asking me. You can just be asking to be taught something to anyone you'd like. Maybe someone can offer you lessons. And that's it. That is the last question time of Genki 2, ladies and gentlemen. Make them good. Thumbs up wo kogeki ste kudasai. Channel to l o k wo. So please smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I think most of you have already if you're here. But subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell so that you know when we go live with quartet lessons and, and next week we still have the practice lessons. So I hope to see you there. But we have, so we have one more live stream of Genki practice lesson and、uh, then it's off to quartet in a couple weeks or a few weeks, maybe a month or so. Month and a half. Maybe. Otsukare sama deshita. Good job, everyone. Otsukare sama deshita. You made it through Genki 2 and Genki 1. Crazy! Ima <laughs> karawa. Goodbye.、Hi. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been great to have you. Otsukare sama deshita. Genki 2. Otsukare sama deshita. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. ありがとうございます。お疲れ様でした。また次のビデオで会いましょうね。